You've got a lot of people on board here with you. What, what exactly is your problem here? To be truthful about the matter, sir, I was six weeks in hospital before anything was done here for, for me. And basically what happened here, uh, my family had to do the, the all of the budge in, to do the ramp, which was a bit unprofessional, but they, done, they, did, they did do the ramp for me. Lucky enough they did do. The council never done it for me. And also, um, all the plum, plumber work wasn't, wasn't too clever because I mean, what they had, whatever money they had, they had to just try and get it done as, as much as they can, sorry, you know what I mean? And um, I've got no ex access to, to the, the, sh the shed and the shower out there. There is uh, no access to get into the shed out there. And, um, there is, I know for a fact there is, there is evidence of uh, rats in my trailer. You can see, uh, I can show you after a while if you, you, you can have a look for your satires. And now, uh, it's been going on for a long, long, long time and you know, I just, just get the runarounds and set them to come around and do this and do that, but there's been nothing done for me, sir. So you're saying you're getting the runaround, Who, who's giving you the runaround? Well, basically, I, 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 I Forget their names by Adam. You know what I mean? Forget their names by Adam. I mean, there's been, there's been quite a few people there, like, and I don't know their names by Adam. I mean, I've got cards. I can't read and write. I can't read and write. But do you know, I've got, I've got cards. Oh, yes, yeah, we'll come around, we'll do this, and we'll do this, and we'll do that. But there seems to be nothing done about it. So, what is it exactly is it that you want? I tell you, we're truly about the matter, sir. Underneath this caravan, right, there should be a hard standing. Also, and then access into that car, uh, into that shed there, into the shed like where the, where the toilet shower is. Just, the meter, the meter is so high I can't reach up to it. I mean, and also the plumbing is nothing, nothing, nothing we've done. So perfect about the, the, the plumbing there. The toilet is leaking. I caught a bad infection in the hospital. I caught the the bad M M M S R in the hospital. So. It's worried me a lot. I mean, I heard like little rat noises the other day ago in my caravan. So I had to get on my caravan so fast that, you know what I mean? That I, I, I was so frightened that I, I fell off the wheelchair and I split my head from here to there. I mean, I did have family here to look after me. But now the, the family have to look after their own family. And basically, I've got no one there. I only live here on my own. I mean, like shopping, how, how would you get to Sainsbury's? Well, Sainsbury's, sometimes I go over in this push chair and then uh, that, I do have to use the, uh, that, that gents over there in Sainsbury's. That road's also very, very dangerous. It's got no traffic lights. The traffic lights broke broke at Sainsbury's. So I have to wait there sometimes for 10 minutes. It's nice enough for the people to stop and let me cross because you know, some disability, you know, I lost my legs and lost my, my, hand, my hand is crippled on one side. And then, uh, I didn't know what to If was a bad person, I had to hold my hands up. I don't know, I don't know why I've been treated this way. Like, I've never, I've never claimed, I've never claimed for the benefit from, uh, and, until I had this accident. And, I mean, I was full of life, all my whole life I was. Like, I used to love football, I used to, like, horse boats, you know. Running and racing, you know, being a young man like dancing and going out and this and that and doing parties. But now my me, me, me life is just upside down, sir. Truthfully about the matter, I take myself. It's, I get so depressed sometimes. I, I go into my bedroom. I, I, I do. I, I don't do it in front of my family. I do sit down. I know it's a hard thing for man, 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 man for to do. I do sit down and I do cry, roll and cry. I, I mean, this is what I can't make out, you know what I mean? Why have I been throwing her like it? Is this dumb real? Do you know what I mean? I mean, if it was a bad person in life, I'd say, I'd hold my hands up, you know what I mean? I'd say, yes, I deserve this in life, but I don't, sir. I don't. You see, look, uh, if I, this, I keep busting me stump the whole time, you know? And, and I keep getting. The electric shocks go through it. 
this one here, I can't, it's that short. Did I? I excuse me, do you mind if I show you? Okay? No, no. It's that short. Did I? It's too small for me to put a wire leg. Well, I do try my best to try and get the, uh, the leg to wrap on it. Do you know what I mean? But it, it keeps falling. Has uh, Tony got a case? <laughs> I mean, it's, um, uh, it, it's clearly, demonstrably, a case of gross negligence on behalf of Thurrock Council. This man has been waiting for nearly two years to have something done to improve his quality of life. Every time he wants to go to the loo, he has to take his life in his hands to go across the Safeways roundabout to the Sainsbury's toilet, because that's the nearest disabled access. You will have seen that he can't get into his own toilet here. The electric meter that he needs to put money into is too high for him to reach now. And absolutely nothing has been done for 22 months for this poor man. Maybe this is a question for you, but why not? Well, it's not a question for me. I've raised it with the chief executive, the head of housing, everybody who wants to listen to Tony's case, and nothing has been done. We've had hollow words, empty promises, all of which have been broken. Senior council officers at the very highest level have known about Tony's plight for a considerable time and done nothing. And the council corporate then should have, you know, should hang its head in shame and start getting their fingers out and start doing something for Tony. I mean, it's not, it's not humane what they've put this poor man through. And what response have you got? Well, as of today, I emailed last week, um, the, twice the head of housing, the chief executive, had a conversation with the head of housing. We apologise for not doing anything. I had nothing back from the corporate directors at all in response to my email, apart from an acknowledge that I've, acknowledgement that I've made a complaint. But that's, frankly, that's not good enough. And it's typical of Dark Council. Just do nothing to help people in real need. And Tony